following demonstration, we'll use load case combinations to create additional results. Here we have a linear static solution where we have three load cases, each with a unit gravity load in one of three directions. And here we can see those results for that unit G load in X, Y, and Z. But what we're really interested in is a number of different combinations of those G loads. So we'll use load case combinations to do that. We'd like to see a 6 G load in the X direction, a 3 G load in the Y, and a 1 G load in the Z. So to do that, we'll use load case combinations, create a new combined load case, and add scaled load case components. An additional solve is not required. Uh, we can go directly to the results after doing that. But here, let's make another one that will be 3 G's in the X and 2 G's in Z. And now we can see that those load case combinations have been immediately added to our results and we can see displacement, stress, whatever result we had asked for originally displayed as a load case combination. And that concludes the demonstration. <laughs>